everybody this is money mom you're taking a walk with me outside i just showered that's why my hair looks this way you know i'm just gonna do a gab fest i'm not even sure what's gonna come rambling out of my mouth but i do have to tell you this one of my favorite things to do is wave and say hi to people some people are really receptive to it and they really like it but a lot of people think i'm really odd weird and there's something wrong with me and guess what all three are true you guys are stuck with me unless you want to unsubscribe but I'm, you know what you got it you either love me or you don't love me that's one thing about me you either really like me and think I'm fun or you don't like me and you think that I'm hyper loud obnoxious and weird but you know what I'm not gonna change at age 56 almost age 57 so I've got a bunch of little things to talk to you guys about. I'm thinking maybe once every three months I might have what I call a gab fest with you guys and talk about a bunch of random things. And obviously I'm going to always touch a little bit on money and frugality. Nothing wrong with that. But I just thought I would do that. I woke up this morning. I actually got up at 8 and I've gotten so much done. I made a great big ham. I made homemade gingerbread because I had leftover buttermilk I had to use up. And what else did I make? Oh, I'm gonna, I made homemade mashed potatoes. And I'm gonna make this gravy and I'm gonna use this ham in a bunch of recipes, which I'll be doing a video on. So I wanted to chat with you about that. I wanted to tell you guys, I've been reading a lot this year, but I have decided I'm not gonna read a lot of what I call self help books. There's nothing wrong with it, but a lot of them say the same thing. And I feel mentally exhausted when I read them. By the way, there's a sweet, precious dog we're going to walk by. And when he hears my voice, he starts barking. And he, it's, he's so funny because he jumps up and down and up. And he's, like, he's like a dog version of me. But anyway, oh, here comes another dog. Um, that being said, I have been reading a lot of fiction books. I know I recently did a video of my favorite books, but I think I forgot one from 2021. Correct me if I'm wrong. I may or may not have forgotten it. I can't remember. Uh, it's called The Wish. It is a love story spaced over several years. It's absolutely phenomenal. I loved it. But I want to tell you a book that I have read for 2022 that I have to say is almost as good as A Silent Patient, but it is so disturbing. You are either going to really like this book or you're going to hate it. There is not going to be any in between. I think because I've read so many books in my time, I'm ready for something new to read. I don't want the same old, same old all the time. I want something different, something kind of challenging, something interesting, and something that thinks outside the box, not the same old thing. For example, I love the Hallmark movies, but I can only watch so many because it's the same kind of story. Same with a lot of books. A lot of them are the same format. And a lot of the stuff in the book is what I call a lot of fluff. This particular book that I want to recommend to you, if you're interested in reading things that are disturbing, is called The Push, like you're pushing somebody down. And I'm not going to give you any spoilers, but I'm going to tell you the basic of the book. It is about a woman and a man. They fall in love. They get married. And she didn't have a good childhood, but he had this wonderful, perfect childhood. He wants a child. She doesn't really want to. He talks her into it. She has a baby. To sum it up, she doesn't get connected to this child and she doesn't feel close to her and she feels like the baby doesn't like her, the baby's fussy, you know, you get the idea. And she doesn't enjoy being a mother. And you know, that's something you don't ever hear a lot of people talk about, that people become a mother and they don't love being a mother, they don't feel a connection with their child. Well, it's a story of that, but it's about generational trauma too. But this little girl that she has, you find out things about this little girl, that this little girl isn't this sweet little innocent girl that many people want to think because nobody wants to think bad of a child. They think, oh, they're going through a stage. Anyway, let me just say this little child isn't somebody that you would want to babysit probably. Um, or you might because she might come off sweet, but she's got two sides to her. Very interesting. And the ending blew me away. So if you want a really good book to get off your Libby app, if you have Libby, if you want to take it out at the library, it's called The Push. Highly recommend it. So, something else I wanted to share with you guys that I did the other day, and I didn't have a great attitude about it at first, but it's something, this is something I really feel led to talk to you guys about. Uh, last Friday, I went 
to jury duty. And I'll be honest, when you get those jury duty notices, you're like, gee, how can I get out of it? Well, I went, my husband was kind enough to go with me. We had to go downtown Dallas, but you, we had to take a train, then take a bus. And I'm gonna tell you something, we had a wonderful day. I didn't get selected for the jury, but everybody I met on the train, on the bus, you know, the security folks that let us in, they could not have been more helpful and more kind. And it got me thinking about our attitude. How do we see the world? You know, so many people talk about fear-based stuff. And I'm just letting you know right now, I might get more views if I do fear-based videos like, the shelves are empty, the world's coming to an end, you know, and all this stuff. I'm not going there. I don't care if it got me more views or not, I'm not doing it. I am never gonna promote fear on my channel at all to get views. It's not something I'm gonna do. And that's probably why I don't get 10,000 views on a lot of my videos, and I'm okay with that. So that being said, how do we see the world? I choose to see the world as a friendly place with a lot of wonderful people out there. And I really believe in my heart, because I see the world that way, I, I believe this so strongly. God has his angels protecting our family. He has a hedge of protection over us. And he brings people into my world that are so helpful and so kind. And I'm going to tell you, I had the funnest time because you know me. I bring food everywhere I go. I brought tons of snacks. Well, because we didn't have to stay all day, I had all this food and protein shakes. And these people that were security for this, and you know, they work hard. I mean, everybody's working hard right now, it seems. The people that are working jobs are working overtime. They're on skeleton crews. And I feel all of them deserve a raise and to be treated with extra courtesy. I gave one lady a bunch of snacks and a protein drink, and she, you would have thought I gave her the moon. She was so thrilled. And when I was saying goodbye, she held up the protein drink. She's waving. And everybody was saying goodbye to me. And they were just so friendly. And I thought, how do I see the world? Am I scared out in the world? Do I see the world as a friendly, wonderful place? What kind of attitude do I want to have? And it got me thinking. And then it got me thinking, and I'm going to do a follow-up video on this, that, you know, sometimes, and I'm going to actually feel like a whole video needs to be dedicated to this one. Sometimes my thought life is not the best. It's not productive. It's not helpful. And it's not encouraging. And I thought, you know what? One of the things that I've been trying to do last few days is keep busier. Because the busier I keep and doing things, the less my mind goes a-wandering. And whenever I start to have thoughts that are not healthy thoughts, you know, like maybe fear-based thoughts, for example, or scared thoughts, I'm starting to praise God and thank him for all that I have. Even little things like I was in the shower the other day and I go, thank you, Jesus, for this hot shower. Thank you that I've got shoes and socks to wear. Thank you that I've got electricity. Hey, I'm standing here working in the kitchen, but thank you that I've got a stove that works. I mean, every little thing, I could literally spend all day long thanking God for so many things that I have. And I think whenever I have these scary thoughts, I'm going to start thanking God and spending more time in praise because I have so very much to be grateful for. And one thing I think I need to be thanking God more for is you guys, because, you know, every now and then I might get a comment here or there that I would say is not helpful and encouraging to the channel. And that's okay. Everybody has a right to their opinion. I'm not saying anything negative because we're all in a different place. But 99% of the comments on this channel are so growth-minded, and everybody's here to help each other, and I just love that. You know, I mean, I'm just kind of on a mindful journey. I'm wanting to get more joy out of life. I want to spend less time worrying, more time praising. And believe me, I can worry about things. I don't know about you guys, but I can be a worry wart. I can worry about the future, which I have no control over on many things, right? And, you know, I really think that we would all have more joy, and the Bible teaches this, if we spent more time being present in the moment. And if we each asked ourselves every day, what can we do to bring joy to other people? How can we be an encouragement to others? Imagine what our world would be like if each of us asked each other that question, because I don't care, even to somebody on a low income, there's always something we can do to be helpful to other people and to encourage other people. It doesn't have to be money. We could just, just a kind word, just saying hello, you know, giving somebody a compliment, smiling at somebody. It doesn't have to be anything major, you know, but just anything we could do. And that's kind of where I'm at. 
but I wanted to share with you guys some books. My husband and I are really excited about a show coming out, which this is the second season. I want to know if any of you watch it. Resident Alien. Oh my God, that show is so hilarious and funny. I absolutely love it. It is, I don't know if you guys like it, but I don't know about you, but I love to laugh. I love to listen to music. The other, just today when I was getting ready, I was blasting 70s hits and I loved it. And um, I told you guys I've been watching things that have been making me laugh a lot lately. I just want to enjoy life more, be more present in the moment. And you guys know I'm on my mindful shopping journey. I love it a lot more than what I call strict frugality because it gives me permission to buy what I want. But you know the bottom line is a lot of times I don't really want a lot of the stuff that I um, that you know that I say, think that I might want. And I think about it, I'm like, eh, you know what? I don't really want it all that bad. So that's kind of what's going on with that. So that's pretty much it, guys. I did want to find out what books you're reading. How is your frugal journey going? You know, one of my friends kind of starts the year off slow with January. She's like, she doesn't rush into it. And that's kind of what I'm doing. So all I'm doing for January is cutting the grocery budget a little bit from 2021 to 2022 doing great on that mindful shopping so I don't have buyer's remorse doing great on that I do want to do some other things but I'm just taking the month slow and easing into it yesterday I didn't have a demo and you know what I did all day is some of you are going to go what I basically read I read another good book called I'm trying to think my dark Vanessa I think that's the name of it I thought it was it was another book that was you're either going to love it or you're not going to like it. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe that one. Um, and I want, and uh, something I'm trying to think, The Better Liar. I also read that. And I laid in bed and watched Here's Lucy, a whole bunch of them. I basically laid around all day and didn't do anything. I took a nap. And you know what? It was nice. And I woke up on Monday, which is today, and I did a whole bunch of stuff. I've gotten a lot accomplished today, so that's awesome. Anyway, normally I don't do these little hearts to hearts. I just wanted to chat with you guys about a bunch of different things, and uh, let me know if you want to hear my labor story on my next thing. You know, I only had one daughter. I had natural labor. I don't know if any of you want to hear about that or you're going, please, mom, money mom, it's not a frugal story. We really don't want to go there. It's nothing graphic or anything like that, but I just thought it would be kind of fun to kind of talk about a wide variety of topics. And I'm going to put this as a premiere to see if anybody interacts with it. Because I don't do live videos that much. I know some YouTubers do. What are you guys watching on YouTube? What books are you reading? How's, how is your year going? I mean, I would like my year to go a little bit better and be a little more goal-oriented. But honestly, if I could finish the year out spending a little bit less finding more joy and being more grateful and more positive and more mindful in all areas of my life, I think that that to me would be good. One area, and I'm going to end with saying this, that I feel like I have done really well. Oh my goodness, there's a little kitty here. Hi, kitty. Hi, sweetheart. Oh my gosh, this little cat is following me. Hi, it's okay. Well, anyway, he's just talking away. Um, so one of the things that I wanted to mention to you guys before signing off is this. I wanted to mention, no, I forgot what I wanted to mention because this little kitty, sorry, my, my mind goes off on a different direction. Anyway, I think I'll just cut it off because now at this, oh, I know, now I remember. One of the things that I am working on and I've gotten better is just not allowing myself to get into controversial or difficult or challenging conversations and just remaining silent. Honestly, if I accomplished that for 2022, where I just was more peaceful and didn't allow things to get to me or didn't get riled up even on the inside and just was more peaceful and said, hey, maybe this needs to play out this way. Maybe it's just nature's way of playing things out. It's okay. And just saying, lear listening, learning, smiling, and remaining silent. If I can do that for 2022, 
I'll be honest with you. I would think that that I accomplished a lot that year. Let me know, because I think some of us in the past maybe have gotten involved in a lot of drama. And I don't know about you guys, but I want more peace and joy in my life. Anyway, I know I rambled on and on. You guys aren't used to me doing this. I'll only do this every now and then, but I just thought I'd chat about a bunch of stuff with you. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye.